Okay, well, thank you, Bob. Uh, I'm going to start off by inviting, let's say, the parents of children who are already at the school. Um, uh, if anybody would like to make a comment. We'll start in this half, we'll do a few, and then we'll go to this half. Okay? I'm parents of the ATM people okay. at the school. I also do work at the school. Okay. I don't know what to do with those who another school in the Wiganborough to bullying factors and everything else, I had to move her. A safe, guarding, a well-being, everything within this school is fantastic. She has come on links and bounds. What I would like to know, though, with regard to CVA, is why, all right, Mr Hudson is saying that's one of the criteria that they're taking against the school closure. Our school, over the last five years, has had 50% less funding per head than the other children within the book where they work. I'm a rate payer as well. Why does my child deserve less? Than a child going to the school is Wesley. I'm a parent of a year seven pupil here and a year ten pupil. Okay. Um, and I'm concerned about the school closure. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to go to the next one. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. I'm if they could, they'd be here till 7-8 o'clock every night. They've embraced the whole ethos of this school. I just feel so passionately that if you take this school away, it is just the end of Alton. Oh, I'm a parent of one at the school. What I would like to know is why was Cabinet informed that the BSA was the only funding programme available for secondary transformation? Uh, I'd just like to make a comment on the falling numbers because yeah. this is started due to rumour. Where the rumours started, <laughs> I was recommended this school by a parent of an ex pupil, and I must say this school is a brilliant school, fantastic. The staff work extremely hard, and I am passionate about this school. I am a parent of two children who have been students in the school, and a parent. Of two brilliant students who are still students of this school. Now, we heard that Allerton was closing down a number of years ago. The speaker from the council did say that one of their factors is that parental preference has decreased over the years. Now, if a parent has heard that the school is going to close down, I dare say that it would affect their preference. I am a parent of at year 10, and uh, one has already left and he's in university now. And uh, what baffles me a bit is saying they are establishing a new school somewhere. Do they know that that new school they're establishing is going to do better than what is going on here? How can they do And my second point, I've been about extra expenses for parents going to send their children to other ends uh, of the barrel. Have they thought about how they're going to uh, add to the pressures already in there with our financial uh, problems. The extra cost of sending children to Lowton and Wesley and all the places. Have they talked about that? Thank you. I'm a parent of a child in year eight, and hopefully three more that will be in year what, year seven, year nine, and year eleven. Yeah. I can't afford to send. Three children to a high school, three busters, three dinner yeah. money. I know it's stupid, but I was expecting the school and hopefully this school to stay here. This is ours! I would just like to make a comment on the 26th of November 2008. <laughs> Coach of Robbie and myself went to see Nicholson. The Director of Children and Young People's Services, together with Janet Union. At that meeting, we pointed out that the east of the borough, we would end up with three high schools, one with 1,500 students, 
two with 1,250 students. We pointed out that it would be far more sensible to retain four high schools in the east of the borough with 1,000 students. This would help to ensure the children got the best possible standard of education and not risk the possible possible of deterioration of standards in the school with, with, with far too many students. I have two children here, one in year nine and one in year seven. Nick also mentioned parental choice. You yourself mentioned that Wesley would be extended by 400 places. That's not my parental choice. I chose here. I didn't choose Wesley. Why should my children then be forced to go to Wesley High School? How does that give me as a parent a choice of a high school? Eleven to nineteen, not welcoming Everton. <laughs> 